Have you ever wondered how it's possible to place text behind objects in videos without spending tons of time to achieve it? Well, today is your lucky day because this can be done with the Movavi Video Editor 2024. It's surprisingly simple and can be pulled off with a few clicks. I will show you two easy methods, where the first one will show you how you can make a text appear behind a person. Here is how it's done. Import a video clip of a person into the timeline. As you can see, this is a plain clip of a girl having fun during summer. Now explore the title options and select one that you like in the title menu on the left side of the editor. I picked a pre-made animated text called Flyby and placed it on top of the video clip. Next, I will change the text to what I want to have displayed on the screen. Then I'm selecting the font that I want to go with, and in this case, it's a variant of Vendana. I'm adjusting the size so it fills out the screen without a line break. Before adjusting the position, I've added an outline to the text and I've lowered the opacity for a softer appearance. Make sure to extend the title in the timeline so it matches the length of the video clip. Now export the video to a location where you can find it. Re-import the exported clip back into the timeline by dragging it in. Now delete the title. Use the background removal tool by selecting the clip and go under more tools to remove the background on the original clip. Select precise and let the editor do its thing. Now you can see the Moavi editor has removed the background of the original clip. Then you just need to stack the original video clip where the background has been removed on top of the new one. Let's export it so I can show you what it looks like as my computer is not doing a really good job on the replay. You can also add filters from the effects menu, like this lens flare number four, to add some dynamics. Let's export the clip, and now it looks something like this. Of course, this is optional, but you can play around with different filters and color adjustments until you find something that you really like. And you can do it absolutely for free. As you can use the Movavi Video Editor for the next seven days for free, testing out what I've shown in this video. After the trial period ends, or immediately after you have downloaded the software, you will be able to purchase it with a 20% discount by using the code that's listed in the description below. The first 20 that decides to use the link in my description will get a My Channel Pack effects on top of their purchase as a gift. The method that I just showed you works really well to remove backgrounds behind people in videos. But it does not work on removing objects like buildings and cars. However, there's another way to achieve this by using the chroma key under the more tools on a static image. Let me show you how. This works best with simple shapes and you will understand the why shortly. Place the image on the timeline. Again, select the title from the titles menu it needs to be static for this method to work. Enter the text you want to appear behind the object. Customize the text properties by double tapping on the title. Select your font, resize, and position. For this example, I will pick a shadow behind the text. On top of this, I will also make sure that the color of the text matches the warm white of the house. Now go to the elements menu. Select the callouts and then shapes. Pick the rectangular shape sticker and drop it onto the timeline. Change the color to green and start masking out parts of the lettering you want to erase. It needs to be angled a bit to match and you can just clone it so you will get one to the other side where you only need to change the angle to match the opposite side. Take a snapshot with the camera button under the preview window. Place the snapshot on the timeline. Go to the more tools and use the chroma key option to remove the green screen from the snapshot. You simply select the picker and point to the area on the screen marked green. Adjust the tolerances from the property options if needed. Place the snapshot above the original and here you have it. Because this is static, you should add some dynamic elements to the clip. Like a lens flare or a different coloring, but that's up to you. You can now export the clip and then it looks something like this, where you can see the subtle movements in the image. This is super simple and you should definitely try it out, but it does have some limitations. Alternatively, you can re-import the video clip and then you could do all sorts of crazy stuff to it. Maybe a zoom in or zoom out or something like that. 
but that's reserved for another video. Have fun experimenting with this technique and let me know in the comments below how you are using this in your own projects. Also, if you have any questions, feel free to leave those in the comments as well, as I'm here to help. Also, if you want to watch some of the other videos that I've made around the Mubami Video Editor 2024, where one I could highlight is uh, how you color grade your drone footage, I'll make sure to include that one as well as the other ones on a playlist that you can access through this card. I hope you liked this video. If you did, then feel free to give a like. If you didn't like it, feel free to press the dislike button twice. Thank you for watching, and I'll be seeing you around.